Greetings, fellow nerds. It's that time of the week again. It is time for the Gamer Dance Duo Podcast number 18. I am one of your hosts, TB Sack, but you can call me Teddy. I have with me the man of the week every week, Eric. Yep. How's Hello, it going? You. What you eating? Good. Uh, goldfish. Oh, snap. You know what, dude? I'm going to actually be professional and start the timer this time. Oh, yeah. Boom. All right. So... Um, let's see. I was gonna... I First of all, I want to address that I said last week that it would probably be on iTunes by this week or whatever. Didn't make any progress. I didn't do that at all. <laughs> I just played video games, so... I think what I'm gonna do is... Because if I sit down and just do it for, like, f- three or four hours, I can get it done... So I think tomorrow, I don't work tomorrow, I'll just, tomorrow, like, afternoon, I'm just going to sit down and write it all, and I will write a reminder on my phone to do that so I won't forget. So yeah, it should, but I said that last week, so you don't know if you can trust me or not. (laughs) But I hope it, I, I hope so. I want to get it on those things, it just requires work to get it on those things mm-hmm. and the work i'm not a giant well, fan of. it'll be a lot easier when you only have to do like one yeah one every week's not even a problem but i have to compile like you know i think i've already done oh no i haven't done any actually so i will have to compile 18 so <laughs> gg but uh yeah. it up, mate. but if <laughs> i if i just sit down and do it it shouldn't be too big of an issue you know because it's just mm-hmm. it's ba- it's basically i have all the the thumbnails that i need i I made all those i think i might need to make yeah. like two and then i i have all the tags on youtube so i just go to the video like editor the video manager for each one and edit each one and then look at the description and the tags and like copy it over and all that so should happen hopefully it will okay. so eric what have yeah. we been playing let's just let's just think about what we've been playing especially since okay. something pretty came big out. came out last week that I mean, should um, be a topic all on its own but i mean i i gone this we, we did our weeklies on destiny yeah we did that on like no no Friday dice though no Thursday. luck Oh yeah, of course not. No, no. I don't think anyone got a, no. an important exotic. I got ascendant shards I got and ascendant Omnimaterium. energy. Ryan, Ryan's only um, exotic he needed. Gosh dang it! She, RNG he, is such a dude, stupid game. You know what's the kicker though? Concept. Zer gave me my last exotic piece. <laughs> wow! Get I wrecked, got, Ryan. So I got. <laughs> Destiny I, I, hates you, Ryan. Yeah. Confirmed. It does apparently. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, yeah, uh, we're an entertainment podcast that talks about PlayStation, Destiny, oh, yeah. superheroes, movies, TV, comics, all that stuff. That's the only thing I forgot, so I'm progress. <laughs> all right, continuing on, Destiny. Um, um, yeah, Destiny and uh, Zer were cool. Get yeah, Zer, Zer brought some cool things. Me. Yep. Not for um, me. He brought one thing idea. I needed. You need an obsidian mine, which is an amazing helmet. It's like the Galahorn sure. of freaking armor. Sure. It's amazing. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Dude, just see how fast you can farm. I understand, okay. but I don't care. <laughs> I already oh, do that. Like, my, my super is already ready the next time, even without obsidian mine. So... There's, like, one time out of, like, three that it's not ready. So I guess it'll help there. But, I mean, it's not normally a problem, my super. That's because you don't use your Nova Bomb enough. <laughs> so uh, I should just be, like, the 360, 360 no scoping with my Nova Bomb. Just, like, turn it uh, into the one where it shoots really straight and just, like, see if I can shoot things from not really a good far PvP, away. But it's not a good PvP helmet, though. Sure, yeah. Um, good for the abyss, dude. Come yeah, I, I I understand all about Obsidian Mind. I do. I okay. just don't really. I don't know. I didn't really care too much about getting it, but I'll, I mean, I'll definitely use it now if I ever play Destiny again. <laughs> I'll I'll use it in House of Wolves. 
Because <laughs> right now, mm. I I legitimately, like, I want to want to play and do bounties and upgrade my guns. Right. But I actually do not want to. <laughs> like, I have no desire whatsoever to upgrade yeah. my guns and just sit it's and true. do bounties. There are so many other awesome games to play right now that I'm just like... And there's three, like, main ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you download the Final Fantasy XIV demo on PSN? Negative. You should. You should do that. Like right now, you should do that. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be fun to try. So I mean, we played. I mean, beta. yeah, the betas. Remember the? Well, no, that's not a good example. I was gonna say remember the beta of <laughs> Destiny, but it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> well, but but at the same time, it was completely a different experience because we the thing is, get to level eight. I mean the beta was I like the combat. The combat was awesome. But we didn't get a chance to try out the well, like the, I've like, just heard that it's changed a lot since beta. That's what I mean. I mean most most things do. See, like, Destiny was during the beta, all I got to do was like do a bunch of quests. Beginning yeah. quests. Yeah, I mean if this I think the demo for A Realm Reborn on the PlayStation store is just like a fourteen day trial of a membership in the whole game. So you just get to, like, play it for 14 days. I think. I don't fully know, but that's what I would assume when it just says 14-day trial. So, So yeah, you should download that because I got on my PS4 to start Bloodborne, and it was uh, was downloaded. And I was like, Mm. hmm. I I don't really want to start it, though, until, like, because, you know, 14 days. Those are precious days. So, uh... I think if you download it, I'll, we'll both, like, start it at the same time. So we'll right. start and end at the same time. Because I do want to try it. And that seems like a really good way to try it. That's a cool thing about um, about PS4. Like, I looked, and there are a lot of demos. I'm like, there's, yeah. there's a lot of this. But, you know, it's the same with every other console. Dude, I used to be a I giant think. demo junkie on Xbox 360. Yeah. Cause, oh, I would download everything. Because, like, you didn't have too much money. So you're like, I'm just going to download all this stuff that's for free. demos that were actually worth playing. Like, you yeah. could level... They were like uh, miniature Call of Duties almost. And yeah. um, you could level up to a certain level, and you could still play as long as you... But then if you wanted, like, level progress anymore, you would have to buy the game, of course. Yeah. But, I mean... Yeah, totally. I, I only remember downloading a couple of demos on PS3, but I, I did legitimately... The, the times when I did that was, like, in the summer when i had no money and i'm like let's just try <laughs> this i guess and this Dude, one and this one i bought this game on xbox 360 called like shark <laughs> sharknado uh, it was like but anyway you like swim it was scary like you were swimming around it was an indie game in the indie section everything were you just like crap. trying to swim away from sharks <laughs> no you have a harpoon gun oh you try dang to kill these sharks that's pretty cool and it was so broken. The game oh. was... <laughs> I, I thought that was leaning towards, it was kind of cool, you got to shoot the sharks, and then they're like, no. Okay, it's all indie games are based on your avatar. You know those little guys with you can personalize? Oh my gosh, that's, so, that's funny. It, they're pretty much like, everything in any store is based on those. There's like zombie games based off of them, and Minecraft yeah. games based off of them. Dang. And yeah, the, the thing about the Xbox... Ridiculous. And it's true even now with the Xbox One and the PS4. I like that the libraries are so different. Like, people can get just crap indie games on an yeah. Xbox. And it's very similar to a PC in that aspect. And it's one of the reasons why I like PS4. Yeah, it's actually, because, like, all the PS4 games are, like, screened and planned. Yeah. And they're all, like, somewhat decent. Like, they're, they're, right. there aren't any that are just, like, broken Listen, yeah, you, know, you can't. But I actually, I actually played this like <laughs> horror puzzle game for like three bucks, and the guys who made it actually messaged me saying, "Hey, thanks for making or buying our game and trying yeah. it." I was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah." Xbox is very much like PC in that aspect, which makes sense because Microsoft, yeah. you know. Right. Uh, also, that was a cool thing. what have we been playing? <laughs> um, <sighs> uh, other than so, there's Destiny, right. Elder Scrolls Online is still freaking awesome i mm. really the reason i told eric this earlier the reason i want to play the final fantasy 14 demo is because like i like elder scrolls online a lot but it's i i still don't like playing it on my pc like the other day 
I sat down, I did the whole Windows button P computer only, so I had it on this screen, <laughs> and then I switched over, I turned on my PS4, this was after I like came home from work, I showered, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna play some games, and I sat down, and then I looked at all my games on my PS4, and I was like, I kinda wanna play Elder Scrolls Online right now, and I was like, but, <laughs> but I can't, I, I would have to... I would have to switch back, and that's what I did because I like the game so much. I switched <laughs> back, but I was like, if it was just right here, that'd be great. But uh, eventually it will be. I just don't like having to wait like three months. Uh, March? <laughs> yeah, freaking three months. i have to go through April, May, and uh, the rest of... Actually, it's basically just like two months. Two months and a week. That's cool. But... um. Yeah, once that game goes on the PS4, the PSN store, I am pre-ordering that. <laughs> Just so I like don't have to worry about it. It'll come out and I'll be like, cool. The only game I've done that with recently was Bloodborne. I did that in the fall with a couple of them, with Far Cry and Assassin's Creed, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking, freaking Far Cry. I still need to go to back to that. There's so, too like, many games, dude. I've been really like apprehensive with pre-ordering nowadays uh, yeah after unity that's what would be uh order the order yeah i guess i don't i would not i if i knew what it was and you still I would, haven't I played that by the way <laughs> no, I still haven't played it, but, um... gotta gotta rent that and play that at least you got caught up with arrow so we can talk about arrow yeah that's gonna be awesome um flash. so yeah flash is Oh. Um, oh. Arrow's, uh, like, getting really c back to their consistently good model. Yeah. Or consistently great, really, that they used to always have. Dang, I just hit my microphone. But, um... Yeah. We, uh... What was it, last Tuesday? Last Tuesday? When we got Bloodborne. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much all the games. We got, after Destiny and Elder Scrolls, it's really all we've been playing. I, I played yeah. Two Persona 4, like always. Yeah. And... Then Bloodborne yeah. came out. So Eric played Bloodborne like at the day it came out and the day after, just like nonstop. So he played a ton. But I legitimately could not play it until like Friday. Dude, it I came out on Tuesday and I couldn't play. You played the first day. I remember that. You played the first night. Late. Yeah. Late. But you still day. got to. Yeah. I didn't I guess, even yeah. like. Well, I was sitting there on the Monday night. And it unlocked for me, and I had to go to sleep. <laughs> so I opened it, and I opened the character creator, and I'm like, I don't have time for this. So I then closed the game, you and then I couldn't play for good days. Hour on the character. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. I think I might have spent. It it was at least an hour. It might have been an hour and a half. It was around there definitely. It's um crazy. yeah, but I I do want to point out Bloodborne is awesome. I haven't played nearly as much as Eric, so Eric can talk mm -hmm. about it more. But I. Like, it's, it's really cool. The mechanics are really solid. Like, just the combat is fun. Even if it is super I, yeah, grueling. I one thing. Um, Bloodborne really depends on you knowing a little knowledge of the mechanics of the past games. Um, but, I mean, it's but the same the... thing. You go in completely blind, pretty much, in all the games. And it doesn't yeah. really teach you anything besides the buttons. Yeah. And... How I'm glad it teaches things. you the buttons because that would have been. But I will say it's a lot easier than the other games because we didn't have a hub back in Dark Souls One. There's no hub or anything. You just go to the bonfire level up or find some random NPC out in the world and buy stuff from them. Nice, but um, it's a lot different. So. Yeah, I, I'm really liking it. But what I was gonna say is that without a doubt, it has the worst character creator I've ever seen. It's so also bad. the worst. The worst and the best. Yeah, it, it's, hilarious. it's hilarious. It's and... <laughs> hilarious because it's like, I don't know. All the like let's plays I've seen are people just like you know they're not spending like actual time because you have to spend like an hour to make your person not look like a horrible person from the X Men. You know, yeah, get, like mutants. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. <laughs> then. So people who do Let's Plays just, like, only have, like, ten minutes, so they just freaking don't even care, and they turn him into a mutant. Because <laughs> when you turn yeah, the sliders one? up, yeah, <laughs> what I do in character creators in, like, I don't know, all games that have them, is I turn the slider all the way up, all the way down, and then that gives me a range Fine. of what it looks like, and yeah. then I just pick Fine. the one in the middle that I like. And then 
slowly I start to like see a vision of what the character I want him to look like and all that. And then like, but in this game, I turn the slider all the way up and his nose goes out to here. <laughs> And then I turn it all the way back, and it's inside his face, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so, I think they do that so you can make, yeah. like, really disproportionate, like, it, they made that one boss guy from Zelda, and his face is all, like, really fatty and stuff. Yeah. And also, I mean, someone made Kratos, um, Sean made Kratos. Yeah, I mean, it's cool for people who want to spend time in it and make very unique stuff, but for me, who just wanted to make a character that looked like a normal person... Mm -hmm. Which is probably most people. It was quite difficult, but uh, I got it in the end. You had presets, and sort you can of. also like adjust it from there. But yeah, yeah, it was tedious. It was just, it's just not a, it's, it's when character creators like how, as character oh, creators go, using, it's not R1, a good one. <laughs> we're using R one to move the sliders. Yes, of course. Okay, good because at first that, I was using just yeah, and you're like I'm gonna be here all day. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I found that out after like one thing I looked down and I was like, oh, I can change it by 10. But yeah. Eric has beaten, how many be How many bosses have you beaten? Five. Five? Dang. Aren't there like 18? I think there's 18. I, I don't know the number. I think I there's 18. So yeah, okay. you're, uh, you're getting there. <laughs> I'm there. I'm level 43, um, which is not as high as I think that I, I've seen people that are level 140 something. But anyway. Um, yeah, I've killed five bosses, and I don't know, they're, they haven't been, like, too challenging. I've died, uh, on one of them the most, though. Like, so. yes. He's like, the oh, I just killed the first two five. bosses without dying, dude. and I'm like, okay. Yeah, dude, I'm not sure how I did the first two bosses without, well, I mean, I died. Well, to be, what I've found in the game is that the... The biggest tip I could give for somebody learning the combat, which I don't Had to. have advice on. I, I, I do not qualify when it comes to this, but, uh, like, for real, take every fight with patience. Like, mm. every fight. And look at the If movements. you're going to be at the boss for 30 minutes, you're going to. Because, like, it's better than dying. Yeah, like, just don't rush it. Just take the right opportunities and yeah. be very slow okay. about it. It's been almost a week since, so I'm sure you can tell 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 us about your fight with the cleric beast. I'm, I'm kind of interested. How you, uh, how you think about it. <laughs> I uh. well, first of all, my experience with Bloodborne is that I started off on like Friday. I think it was either Friday or Thursday. It was and, late in the day. <laughs> Wait, week. Well, no, it was like one or two o'clock. It was it was pretty early, and I went. I started. And I played the first section because you have to get to a certain shortcut before you can, like... Well, I was going to get to the shortcut before I can fight the boss. So you can fight the boss right. without it. But I was you. my goal was to go to the shortcut. So right. I spent, like... I spent legitimately five hours getting the shortcut. Five like, hours, I just yeah. died and kept... It It was awful. I'm, I'm getting a lot better, though. Like, I saw right. a big jump recently in how I played. But, yeah... So I spent five hours, and then I actually – I got the shortcut, and I'm like, all right, I'm done. And I played Elder Scrolls Online for, like, two days. And then I jumped back in last night, and I knew where the boss was. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to fill up on all of my consumables and go fight the dude. And then I went, and I did it. And the, the boss is – like, I'm sure all the bosses in this game are like this, but holy crap, the character design is awesome. Like, yeah. It, it, it's sweet. insane. The music is really good. I was like, okay, like, this yeah. is pretty freaking epic. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. But then, so I go up to the boss and I start, I start fighting him and whatnot, and mm. I figure out slowly that like the best thing to do is just get behind yeah, him. Because you, yeah, you can get behind him really easily because he punches like way out in front of you. Yeah, but I figure this out pretty much in the process of the first fight. I, I knew I was like, there's no way I'm gonna kill this guy in the first fight because I learned how enemies work in right. the first one. They normally kill me and then I'm like, Oh, okay, well that's what I need to do. But so I was learning, like you got to get behind him and I was learning. You should not like on most of the smaller enemies. I've been using R2 and like the supercharged R2. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, not really the best idea for a boss. Yeah. It's easier to just go in with quick like combos. So I went 
to but you know then i died and it took me back to the hub where the doll was alive and talking and no, it was so kind of horrifying yeah so i leveled up and i fortified my axe and i was like all right let's do this again and it was way easier the second time because yeah. i told eric this and he agrees when you fortify a weapon it is a major difference like yeah. it it is very noticeable it really is dude i actually upgraded my hunter's axe to plus six last night yeah. so i have to get i have to get blood shard chunks now that's like way future content yeah so i am ahead of the but game to here. be honest i yeah. really am not sure how i feel about like just i don't know i like i like open world games and this is kind of open world ish mm -hmm. you know it's just sort of you like sometimes find often. your way but like i uh -huh. like open world games where you can get around easily and it's open world because mm -hmm. you can explore easily like infamous is my example you can get around that world in like seconds you can freaking yeah. move around but in this it's like say i just beat the first boss he does not tell you where to go you're like all right guess i gotta find another one okay so well, here's I actually get... the thing okay you need to go talk to the guy in the window beside the lamp I didn't that see guy tells you a lot of information. I didn't see he's a guy. A, he's like a, awesome. he's the main character almost apparently. All right then, I'll go. I do need that. to talk. Never to mind, myself. my complaints are completely invalid. Then yeah. moving on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just like, all right, find the next guy. But the problem is, if you, but like my whole thing was like, I'm gonna have to go look in this area, and then if it's not there, this area, and I like, I know where to look. But it might not be there, so I have to, like, go to different areas. And it's not easy yeah. to get to those areas. That's the thing. Like, I'll be heading one way, and I might die in between. And I have to do it again. Yeah. And, like, if I don't die, then I still have to freaking fight tons of monsters. And, like, it's it's quite a task to get places. So, um, so I, I'll talk to you, dude. Yeah. It's a uh, shortcut to the, the next boss, so. Yeah. Well, that's where I'm going. <laughs> the bridge. Yeah. Where the flaming ball is. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. I know. You told me this. I will be yeah. I will be headed there, I guess. But I also really want to talk to that guy, apparently, because... Yeah. He tells you some yeah. story stuff. I wish I had known. He's really like a main character, dude. I didn't realize until I, I... watched Hollow's game. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Does he tell you where to go, or does he just say, like... Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Dang. He tells he tells He's you. He's like, go down to the to the bridge below you'll see, you'll or see. something. I don't know. I don't awesome. Wanna, like, okay, well that that helps a lot. But Bloodborne is very very good. Like people are. Uh, it's, it's quality. It's, it's very not broken uh, or anything. It's critically acclaimed. Like already. Like the the embargo dropped, and I checked the Metacritic, and it had twenty three reviews. The second yep. the embargo nine dropped, plus. and it was like <laughs> nine point three. So they're 93. That's how Metacritic works. And I was like, dang. Yeah. So I don't know. Everyone's really liking it. And I like it a lot. I just got super stressed that first night because it took me forever. Dude, honestly, and then I just took a break. But when I, yeah, when I came back last night, I was like, this is good. I, I don't know why. I just, I was doing things a tiny bit easier. Like I, I felt more comfortable, like m right. moving through the world. So I was Dude, like, when you get new weapons, better. you'll, you'll, figure out so yeah i i feel like i'll enjoy it a, a lot more re or in the coming week um let's actually get into our news here mate yeah <laughs> i love how eric i i have uh my, our google doc here and i have like a bunch of news and then he just typed this apparently recently <laughs> it says bloodborne dur on <laughs> under eric's topics uh -oh. oh now you deleted your bullet now you're gonna have to get that back. <laughs> uh, oh no! What are we gonna do? So this is a quick piece of news. Arkham Knight. You know how? The, you know what's funny about Arkham Knight is that they originally slated that for like October of last of last year, and then they announced it for that date at E3, and then like a couple weeks later, they were like, "Oh, never mind. Next year, next summer." And now it's delayed three weeks. There's a lot of delays for this game, but it's okay. Arkham Knight was uh, delayed for three weeks. Uh, it's still in June. It's just that the what can they do in three weeks? Latter though? parts of I'm June. Uh, just just slight bug fixes, I would assume. Just 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 fixing some bugs. Yeah. There's definitely they can't do like major things, but uh, 
right. so the game is probably they just wanted to make sure it was polished which is yeah. very much appreciated so you know take your time it's okay mm-hmm. we'll wait we have a billion other games true so i don't i don't i don't honestly care too much about that but i do i am uh i don't know i games that are delayed and are great are way and take longer to come out are way better than games that come out and are bad and then take a while to be fixed so release it great because most that's like the prime time of when people play it so i'm fine Mm -hmm. waiting i'm sure most people are uh let's see i found this article that was uh video game developers from different companies like just tweeting on like their personal accounts about bloodborne yeah. <laughs> so let's see neil Druckmann, creative director at naughty dog i believe creative director and he's you know heading up uncharted 4 um boss 5 down and out proud of myself for not cheering out loud and waking up the entire house hashtag bloodborne mm-hmm. um kurt margano Naughty, he's also a Naughty Dog. He said, first night of Bloodborne, I've never played these types of games before. Most frustrating thing was a poorly placed ladder. Enjoying it, though. Wow. Uh, and then uh, Tim Moss and, and then two, three people at uh, Sony Santa Monica. I've been playing Hashtag Bloodborne for the last week. It's the best game I've played in a couple of years. Amazing. Was not a Dark Souls fan. That's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, that is. Yeah. Heading to work soon. I wonder how many of the team will be quote unquote sick today. Hashtag Bloodborne. <laughs> and then uh, Dean Reimer. I legitimately woke up with a sore throat, but nobody was going to believe me, so I came in. <laughs> wow. Uh, he's also in Santa Monica. I'm so <laughs> ris- ridiculously excited for Bloodborne. Emily Berger or Berger, probably Berger. And then uh, she tweeted out a song saying it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, Jason Connell at uh, Sucker Punch working on whatever they're oh. working on. Tell us what you're working on, by the way. I can hear yeah. the screams of thousands throwing controllers, snapping discs, hashtag <laughs> or Bloodborne time in all caps. Seriously, though, it is really fun. Um, <laughs> Gavin Golden uh, from Insomnia Games. No matter what happens today, Bloodborne is waiting for me at home. <laughs> hashtag praise the lack of sun. <laughs> Not the sun, the lack of sun. No, I, everyone, everyone's trying to figure out what they're praising now because in the Dark Souls game, there's an emote that you, you go like this and you so, praise the sun. Is there that emote in this game, though? Can no. you praise? There's no praising? I no. But That's I sad. think, I, I, well, personally, why don't you just, you could just say praise the good blood. I don't yeah, know. sure. <laughs> just beat, and he also said just beat a lickanthrope. I think that's how you would say that. To death yeah. with my bare hands. So, <laughs> not a big deal or anything. <laughs> And then a guy from Blizzard said, after beating my second boss, hype confirmed, exclamation point, smiley face, hashtag PS4 share, and then it's prey slaughtered across the screen. Nice. Prey slaughtered. Uh, then he also said, shortcuts in Bloodborne give you a gamer high, and then it's his it's, Bloodborne it's character pointing at the screen. It's, yeah. <laughs> um, Sean Slayback from Respawn Bloodborne so far is grabbing me more than the Souls games did. Death seems like less of a penalty. Love the gothic setting. I do not agree with less of a penalty. But congrats on the great reviews. I'm looking forward to checking Bloodborne out. Uh, This is uh, Major Nelson from Microsoft uh, tweeting at USP. So nice little, nice little, uh, I don't know, being being polite to each other. Um, I don't know what size five games is, but it says Bloodborne. Dan Marshall from that says Bloodborne is one of those games that looks great, but I'm not sure, quite sure if it's for me. So yeah, mm. it's very, it's it's it is not a game for everyone. Like maybe like two months ago, it would not have been for me. Right. <laughs> I don't even know if it is yet, but it probably. Is. I don't know. I'm I'm liking it. I just am very yeah. hesitant. I don't know why. But I'm liking it. So. Yes, it didn't around every corner. <laughs> That's that is true. That is true, dude. What what kills me about those guys waiting in ambush is that you cannot target them easily. I know you have like, to like get to you have to like wait. Them. Yeah, you have to like get right on them. And then sometimes it doesn't even work, and it changes your camera, and you're like, no, I want to target yeah. that guy. I know what he's I just, there. Usually, is this like um like roll just, out there yeah. and then turn my camera yeah him. i just wait for him to come at me and i'm like roll right. target then yeah but uh it, it's it's annoying because yeah. i i want to like cheat the system be like oh i know he's there i'm gonna target him and take him <laughs> out before he comes at me but no you gotta like let him come at you it's a bummer yeah 
So, anything on here on this list that f that you find interesting? There's a decent amount of cool stuff. Um, what were you talking about? Okay. Lead gameplay, de gameplay designer? Or was it writer? Gameplay designer. Gameplay the writer designer. left years ago. That yeah, was the story yeah. years ago, remember? Right. <laughs> anyway, the lead gameplay designer for uh, Bungie. Uh, is leaving for Bethesda. Whatever yeah. Bethesda is up to is actually kind of interesting now. Yup, that's one of the things we'll find out at E3. That is... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, me and Eric were looking over our E3 predictions on this Google Doc, and one of them, mine, is Bethesda will announce a new e IP at their E3 conference and Fallout 4. That kind of confirms it as well. <laughs> well, n no. It definitely does not confirm a new IP. It's just yeah. he's working on something. But um, I, I don't know. To be honest, whatever he does, it'll be very profitable because one of the best things about Destiny is the gameplay mechanics. They're just so mm -hmm. solid. So, yeah. Um, they have good story writers. Yeah. So mix those two, and then uh, yeah. you get a good game. I'm sure. I'm sure it's Fallout. I bet he's working on Fallout. If it's not actually, no, it's not Fallout. I bet it's something years down the line. Because, yeah. like, whatever they're going to announce at their conference is going to be something that's fairly soon. Right. So, like, this has just got to be something that right. we can't see. So he tweeted, I'll read the series of tweets because he's being very affectionate towards Bungie, which is good. Mm -hmm. he said, next Friday, after nearly six amazing years, and with uh, Reach and Destiny on the shelf, I say goodbye to my at Bungie family. A new adventure awaits, exclamation point. To both my Bungie family and our fans, looking at you, seventh column. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, exclamation point, and thank yous in caps. It's been an honor and a pleasure. I'll miss Bungie more than words can tell, but I'm excited about both new challenges and being much closer to our hometown and our family. And then a picture of him, like, standing in a crowd with a Bungie shirt on with, like, a bunch of signatures, and he's, like, looking up super uh, <laughs> smiley. Probably. Yeah, here. There's that people watching the video um he said love you at bungie thanks for millions of great memories keep kicking booty always and forever your biggest fan heart josh bethesda exclamation point it's bethesda i'm going to bethesda studios and i'm super stoked about it i hope you'll continue to follow along with me josh hamrick thank you for your work on destiny feels great yeah. i like it a lot as as uh, as you know <laughs> destiny is amazing Oh crap! I almost just moved. Ah, oh, that didn't happen. His when I just gameplay moved. creation skills into a Bethesda game. That'd be pretty amazing. I'm sure he will. <laughs> it'll be great. Whatever it is, it it it'll be long down the road. But I don't know. Yeah. I'm excited for whatever that is. So I'm looking for like the not the games that are announced at this E3, but maybe like next E3. Maybe they'll mm. announce it and then yeah, we'll get to play it. Maybe far along in the future. Um, but to be honest, d these years seem like a long time, but they're really not, you know, right. like Bungie was, I don't know. Time flies. Time is basically yeah, what I'm really getting is. out here is that time goes by very quickly. Right. It's, uh, it's quite shocking. So yeah, we're, we'll be looking forward to that. But w Destiny, right. you know, when I first heard this, I was like, oh no, Destiny's losing another person. But it's like. It's not that big of a deal because he was the gameplay designer and the game's, like, already out. Base it's not like a... Like, yeah, yeah, they... And I'm sure they already have, like, those mechanics and whatnot are, like, already in the game so they can just I'm replicate sure if they, it. Yeah, if they needed... They probably have other, like, gameplay designers there yeah. that can tweak it if needed. Yeah, it's not as big as a deal as if, like, uh, somebody a for the network or side... Master. Or, yeah, somebody like that. It's um, an awesome happened, name. But... <laughs> Lore Master just sounds awesome. It is. It's, it's an awesome great. title. But it's not yeah. as big of a deal as if a story person left. So, Right. And a story person did leave, but that was forever ago, and now there's a new story person on. So, yep. Looking up. Which came maybe. From where? Uh, Guild Wars 2. Okay. He was the oh, that's he right. was a writer on Guild Wars 2. So... Uh, yeah, let's get through a couple of the rest of the stuff. Since we're talking about Destiny, we can go ahead and talk about their weekly update. 
the Bungie Weekly update. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm opening it, and I'll uh, I'll be able to show it to the to the video viewers. Um, let's see. This update, they let's make this a little bit bigger. This update, they addressed vault space. Um, they said vault space. We know you need more space to collect all the treasures you gain from your missions, and more gear is on the way. Yeah. Let's see. Finally. Update one point one point two will push the boundaries of your secure repository repository the new dimensions will let you store 24 armor pieces 36 weapons and 24 general items so and then they said if you're a visual learner here's how look at how here's a look at how those numbers will manifest into more room to grow yeah. so that that's the biggest thing from this update but i looked at this and then immediately went really that's all you're doing but and it, you're saying that yeah but here's the thing that's as far as it can go. But it's... I I know that that's as far... Your camera's blurry, by the way. Yeah. But uh, I know that's as far as it can go because I knew they addressed Vault Space like a month after the game, yeah. but they never... They had... You know, they're just now dealing with it. So right. I knew that there was some sort of technical limit on it, but it's just like... Ugh! <laughs> I don't care. It's literally... I want more. The RAM... <laughs> On the last gen consoles is holding us back. That is all it is. That's rude. Those last gen consoles need to get out of here. Yeah. Also, I don't. I, I mean, I, I, I definitely don't fully understand how that's a um, RAM. But like, they said. it's but why RAM? It's a network thing. You're storing that in the the network of the Destiny servers because that's your it's, character. Because it, it shows or... so many entities on the screen, and but you know the um, I guess that makes. Thing? I guess they had that to take makes that sense. out because it's a, another thing that's overlaid onto it. So, all these, it just can't handle it. So, I guess that makes sense because, like, you can interact with all of them. All yeah, the... you interactions with each separate entity and it becomes yeah. really hard on your system. I guess that makes sense. Another reason why Destiny should have only been Dude, currently... The PS4 and the Xbox One could handle even more. Yeah. Right? So, why don't they do that? The... This is a lot better than it was before. That's all I'm, I'm okay with it, I think. I guess. How many weapon spots are there now? I 20. think 20. That's what I thought, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, this is a lot better. But, you know, House of Wolves, man, it's already going to be... I don't know. More exotic. Yeah, it's already going to be... It, it's, uh, I'm telling you, when Comet drops, we're going to be like, I need more vault space. Overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. You know? But uh, I, I don't really know. It's better than nothing. There, man. I, well, I'm a collector. I, I wanted yeah. to be a collector. When we played the beta, dude, I was getting, I was like so excited because when the game launched, I was gonna be able to collect all these ships and all these emblems. Right. No, no way, no freaking way. I have like dismantled so many ships and emblems because I'm like, I just don't have space for this. So, yeah, that's cool. Not a big deal or anything. <sighs> oh, yeah. at the at the same time, you know how I was saying I sort of understand the limitations do i understand the limitations because dc universe online bank is way bigger than that <laughs> you know what i mean i don't know but maybe it's not maybe it just looks a little bit bigger because 24 36 and 24 is still still a lot of space yeah still a lot of it's a lot added up i don't know maybe yeah, see. maybe destiny 2 will have a lot bigger of one when it's only on oh, it it definitely will. Yeah. So, of... look forward to that. Definitely. Yeah. Dude, I'm really excited for House of Wolves. I really I am. I really want some am. New content. Because... I want to figure out the boss. I just, like... I like Destiny, and I, I... I just... I don't know. I know when House of Wolves comes out, I know I'm going to be pulled back into it. And that's what I want. So, it's going to be like... A, because yeah. when the Dark Below launched, we were all like really excited about what we yeah, were going to see, good. you know, and uh, that the same thing's going to happen. Like as each week goes by and maybe they give a release date, then we're going to start speculating about all of this. And then they're going to like show the trailer for the, for the raid or something. We're going to be like, Oh, it's awesome. So I'm, I don't know. I'm excited for that because it was really, it was really cool when the dark below launched right. the hype around it with the community is great. So three more quick things trace 
PS4 System Eight Update 2.50 is out. Is out there on your PS4s. Um, you can delete zero percent trophies. You can upload those videos to Daily Motion. All sorts of awesome yeah. stuff. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, those are those are the main things. So enjoy that. Mm. Oh, you can also suspend a. You can also put your PS4 in rest mode with the game open. That's pretty cool. Don't do it with Bloodborne though, because when you come back, um, something breaks and it doesn't like do something for you. Then can. Oh, you can't summon people. That's oh, what it is. that's weird. Oh, so yeah, that's a weird bug, dude. That's almost as weird as like the. Uh, oh, well, I think it. I think it just times out. That's what it is. I think it just times out from being like on rest mode for so long while you're on the game or something. I don't know. That's all okay. I can think. Interesting. Um, Spotify for PlayStation that we uh, talked about a while ago because they announced it a while ago. It yeah. they gave it a release date for PS4, which is May thirtieth. So, okay. be on the lookout for cool. that. That's gonna be I would awesome like to see when that some finally integration, happens. Though. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Integration into the PlayStation button. Oh, interesting. I'm sure, like when you hold the PlayStation button and it pops up that quick menu, I'm sure yeah. there'll be a little player there with that, that uh, would be skip good. and that pause would be good. and back. I I really do think there will be because. If I, I used Music Unlimited for like a month yeah, because I wanted to test it, and I think there was one there. So, yeah, there was. so yeah, Spotify will definitely do that. I hope. Um, and you can you can play it while you listen to while you play. You can listen to it while you play games. It's gonna be awesome. I'm very excited for Ryan especially because <laughs> I can already do this, but for the for him this is like revolutionary for all, all right. for people playing on their giant TVs too. Yeah. It's revolutionary for a lot of people who get to play while listening. Just not me, because I'm, cause I'm special. <laughs> um, yeah. Zelda Wii U was delayed. This is a quick one, because we can't really talk too much about it, because we, <sighs> we don't have a Wii U. Neither we, don't have, have Wii U. we don't have that much Zelda experience in our, in our pockets either. Yeah, that's true. Ha- nope. What Zeldas have you played? Or, if any, I played like some one. Ocarina of Time and... Uh... I played a, the a GameStop. I played that new game for oh the Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, Hyrule Warriors. It was cool. Yeah, that does and not. That, that's the yeah, it doesn't. My Zelda Hyrule game. Warriors doesn't count as a uh, Zelda game either. It counts like as a Zelda themed Dynasty. Dynasty Warriors game. You know, but um, yeah, I played. I have less experience than that. I have played Skyward Sword, and that's it. I played like. I played like 15 hours, maybe probably like 20 hours of Skyward Sword, yeah. and then I stopped. Well, Skyward than... Sword is actually really good. I just don't. The, the motion gets really old. Gets really, yeah. old, really, really old. But like the temples and all that, I don't know. I wish I had a Wii U specifically for Zelda. I wish that Sony would just buy Nintendo. You know, and then we could have all Nintendo properties <laughs> on PS4. You got all the trophies. Oh, that would be the best thing ever oh my gosh how great would that be dude <laughs> so all the, awesome all the no fans Mario are like Kart. screaming at you right now <laughs> oh dude i don't even i don't even care it'd be so great and then the but well I, the only problem with that would be the 3ds because we got our vita would we then yeah. have to make a hybrid 3ds and vita because that'd be <laughs> awesome all right. <laughs> this is just these, these are just great just ideas i don't even care i don't even care these are great ideas <laughs> i'm totally down with all of this um so that's you all heard... what on you i heard about nintendo i heard that nintendo um was making more off of the wii u than the ps4 what <laughs> I was like, nah, huh? Nah. The, this guy was like that's hardcore. Just some angry. guy trolling. <laughs> yeah, I, that was I did, some that's, that's trolling. not. That's not. Pfft. I couldn't even like say that or type that with a straight face and with right. a clear conscious conscience. <laughs> I, I could not do that. That right. is that is something right there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So that's but, all of our news for today. But now we can talk about TV because. We have a, we have like a decent amount of time to talk about TV now, yeah, and we, we don't didn't have like insane amount of shows. Yeah, we I mean, didn't we, we didn't go completely off the rails today with uh, 
with like a certain topic, we spread it out pretty nicely. So, three shows. Walking Dead, Flash, mm-hmm. Arrow. Let's do it yeah. in... Actually, order. I was going to say let's do it in that order, but since the Walking Dead finale... Mm. Finale, by the way, so be excited, okay. is tonight. <laughs> um, we'll talk about that one last, and then we can hype about the finale. And then we're we going to be leave. down another show, dude. Gosh dang it. Oh my gosh, you're right. Holy crap. Dude, eventually, I've said this before, but eventually we're going to get to where we are not watching any shows that are currently running. Yep. Like, that's going to be a yet. thing. Do you remember the good, the golden days, Eric, when we were watching yeah. – Korra, Video Game High yeah. School, oh Doctor gosh. Who, Walking Dead, Flash, Arrow, 100, like all of them <laughs> at the same time. Oh, uh, it was so stressful. It was the but awesome. best. <laughs> it was the best. And when we when we were actually doing it, we were talking about like uh, we were we would mention like how this is just the golden age and how we're never gonna right. have anything like that. And I think that is completely true. Dude, so. If I watched, if I watched to watch Constantine and I still watched um, Better Call Saul, I would have a, have a show every day of the week. <laughs> we did though. That's what's crazy. We did. Besides we... Monday. Yeah. Well, we Besides did have Monday. VGHS. Yeah. 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 I had one every, I had one every day. I'm fairly sure. And it was yeah. amazing. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> but it's not but right. it's not gonna be pretty cool because it's gonna be over soon. Yeah. Oh well, the flash. They dealt with the time travel. They dealt with yeah. it. It I I don't know, dude. That it's like it's kinda like how are they gonna follow up last week? You know? Right. How are they gonna follow that up? They can't. Because Well yeah, they can, but I mean I wanna see how this goes. Yeah, well, no, I'm not last week. I mean, uh, two weeks ago, the the insane time travel one, where all the crap happens in the last last fifteen minutes. It's kind of like, right. how are you gonna follow that up? You you can't because you it can't was insane. All. It was insane. But they they did that but, on purpose to like get you yeah. all like freaking yeah. hyped up. But th- that's not to say the episode travel. was bad. It was just you you can't get the whoa every single right. episode. You can only get it like once every every couple. Right. But uh, it was still great. It's still a great episode. You know Flash the, is awesome. You know what the best part of the last week's episode was that that wasn't even like a mid season finale or a finale or anything. But yeah. It was like, dang. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. But yeah. this past week's was still great. You got the you got, you know, Wells was telling Barry how there would be like side effects to him time traveling and then changing time. stuff. Yeah. So. He he locked. Basically, what happened is that like the uh, the weather wizard, you know, it was the same thing yeah. that was happening two weeks ago, and then he was just like, but they knew where he was. Yeah, Barry's like, I know exactly all about this, and he just locked him yeah. up, and he's like, all right, done, see you later. Yeah. But uh, the it caused very much negative effects. Captain Cold. And his Comes sister out. and Heat Wave mm-hmm. all came back. The Rogues, dude, they legitimately called them the Rogues, which was awesome. Yep. Dude, that ending was really cool. They mm-hmm. basically Barry like sped off with him, and then they were like talking in a forest, and they had like this mutual respect thing. So yeah. basically, they came to an like an agreement that Cold Don't wasn't yeah Cold wasn't gonna kill anyone anymore. He but he's still gonna like steal and whatnot, but he's. He's not gonna kill anyone, so I don't know, yeah. and that's pretty cool. I I don't know. I love that show, dude. It's so good. Like I love how they picked up right where they left off. I was hoping they didn't like do a some sort of jump. They picked up right where they left off with the time travel, and I was like, yes. And they explained it all, and they they dealt with it well. And they dealt with it well. Next season we got Grodd. Oh my gosh. Next season is gonna be an all Grodd yeah. season. Man, that's gonna be so good. But I'm I'm so happy at the end of the episode that um someone, uh, someone. is suspicious of Wells. Yeah, yeah, I group. like that too, definitely. Because because you know we had just learned about the Wells thing, and then basically they it seemed like they were just gonna be like, oh no, reset. We're we, none of our yeah, characters no know anything. Him, no one's even looking into him yeah. anymore. There's well. no there's no progress being made basically, and it's like oh, yeah. but. So I, I feel good that Barry 
Yeah. He knew, he knew something because he saw the guy who died. Yeah. And he's like, wait, that guy was looking at Wells. <laughs> yeah, so they so they added some some progress being made to that, which is good. Yeah. Um, dude, Arrow was really good. Yeah. I liked Arrow Freaking a lot. Adam. Was, yeah. Uh, the, it. Yeah, they they fought. They had a fight. Adam was dude, like, freak- he, he was such he Iron was Man, dude. Arrogant. Yeah, he was so Tony Stark. Trying that, it was to great. go out of the way. It was great, to... dude. Yeah, Felicity's like, trust me, it's not Oliver. He's not. Uh, that's how Felicity, Felicity talks. Felicity was being the way. voice of reason here. Yeah, that, that's how Felicity <laughs> talks, by the way. But, um, yeah, so basically at the beginning of the episode, Ray's flying around. He finds. He's like looking through a building and he sees with her like facial software, facial recognition software yeah. that 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 the guy in the hood is Oliver Queen. Well, he's like, <laughs> "Holy crap." Yeah, I know, right? Uh, the the second that happened, I was like, "Dang. He found that out really easily." All right. Yeah. Um and then like they have this little talk. Oliver comes over and he's like, "It's not me." And Ray's like, "It's you. Arrow. I know it's you." Super suit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> freaking. Uh... Oliver comes in, comes in super suit. <laughs> yeah, he walked. Yeah, that was great. He walks arrow. in arrow super suit. Super suit. <laughs> it was great. I love it. And uh, then Felicity's like, Felicity tells Oliver all about what happened. She's like, he built a super suit, and Roy's like, he built a super suit. That's, That's kind of cool. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, reckless, but awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Uh, and then Roy's dead. <laughs> dude, no. He just dude, lay the, there. The still best dead or something. thing from what, that came from like the community from last week yeah. is just like the review, the Reddit mega thread. All of it was just like covered with pictures of like, um, remember the previous episode where Oliver's like, <clears throat> Roy goes, never don't abandon me. Yeah. And Oliver's like, never. And then there's a picture of uh, of Roy just oh. laying on the ground, yeah, knocked and then out unconscious Oliver's with blood. Away. And Oliver's like, see ya. Because that's what happened in that scene. Basically, for people who don't know, Adam went to fight uh, Oliver, and Oliver went to like they were they were meeting up. The Adam flies in, and basically they have this little chat. And then Ray shoots Roy with lightning. lightning. And then Roy's like laying unconscious. <clears throat> and they have this big epic fight. And Oliver's like, I'm not the man you think I am. And then he walks. And then legitimately, he walks off. Yeah, he's and, gone. And even like, I didn't even think about it. But then when I thought, as I saw those pictures, I'm like, he just left Roy there. Roy's yeah. just laying on the and ground, so he, and he just he, he walked just like, away. He's turned into a giant thing. Yeah. And it's hilarious. I mean, to be fair, it's... He's just dead. He's, he's just laying just there laying still. There. He's not dead, but he's just laying there. But, I mean, yeah, I thought it was That's like a fatal thing, almost. Lightning. Sure he has it toned down to where he's Yeah, in He has it. I'm sure he has the lightning, like, toned down to stun. Yeah. Set the Set the phasers to stun, you know? <laughs> but... Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Roy's great. just laying there, still waiting for Ollie to come back. <laughs> I think the best picture I saw was like, um, they go back to the Arrow Cave and they're talk. Uh, him and Diggle are talking. I think. <laughs> Where's <right>? Roy? <laughs> but Roy's suit is there. <laughs> and then, but someone zoomed in on Oliver's face and was like, <coughs> "Oh, where's, no where's Roy?" And they put like <laughs> words all around him, and it was funny. Okay, words all around him. Yep. This is a great punchline, Eric. Gosh. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> Thanks, mate. But <laughs> that that fight was seriously awesome, though. That that yeah. fight was really good. I like how he disabled him with like an EMP type thing. Right. That was awesome. And he, you know, he got he basically won. And Oliver's like aiming at him with his bow, and he's like, "If I was the man that you think I am, I'd kill you right here and then. I'd just do it." I'd, I'd let go, and it'd be over. And then he's like, Ray, of course, is like, well, then do it. Prove to Felicity the man that you are. Wow. And he's like, he just puts it up, and he's like, I have nothing to prove. Felicity <laughs> chose you. Dang. So you, or, and then he was like, it, the last words were like, so you should, you should, uh, you should trust her. And then he walks off. 
That was yeah. pretty awesome. I liked I liked the way they did it where Oliver won and then that happened and then uh, he is like proved to Felicity and many think she thinks I know right. you are and then he like helps him up and he's like we we good bro we good just yeah, just be nice just just be cool yeah. I just We're be cool. both in the same boat here I mean come on also it was Suicide Squad dude it dude was... that's Suicide Squad. Oh my gosh, that dude! That was that was it was like two episodes going on. We just talked about that part of the episode. The Suicide Squad is like a whole other episode. It was right. so good, freaking! Mm. I tweeted about it. I was like, "This episode is so they they might as well just have titled this episode Deadshot because that's what right. it's about." <laughs> dude, I swear he is, he is he dead? No. There's no way he's dead. Okay, because no gosh, way. he's such a cool character. I, I like dude, him. I loved it. How they they did Floyd Lawton flashbacks. The flashbacks were him. Also, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if you know this, but when they did the flashback, the final one of him in the prison or in a cell, and the lady came up and was like. I have a contract, blah blah blah. I can, I can pay you money. He opens the suitcase and it's like just a freaking <laughs> stack right. of money. But she said we're, we we act as one organism, blah blah blah. We like to call ourselves Hive, just in case you didn't know. That's a big DC name. Like, do you do you remember playing DC Universe Online and fighting against the Hive with the yeah. bees? Bzzz, you know. Well. Well, yeah, they freaking just kept buzzing, and they have, like, the same voice clips. <laughs> yeah, the Hive, but for real, the Hive is a big name in DC. Like, it's a big organization. So, Hive right, is coming yeah. in season th- in season four, which is going to be awesome. So, that's good. Um, yeah, the, the whole Deadshot storyline was really, really good. I liked yeah. it. I liked it a lot. I liked it way more than... Uh, to be honest, I like yeah, I liked it more than more than the Ray stuff. I liked how the Ray stuff ended, but as a whole, just like the arc, the Deadshot thing was awesome. Oh Cause, yeah, because he like eventually, I don't know, him and Diggle were like bros by the end. It was great. He's like, yeah. just get back to your wife and your and your uh, kid. He's he's so cool. I, I he's a cool I, cat. Yeah. You know, he's a cool cat. <laughs> yeah, definitely. deaf. He's deaf. not deaf. He's not deaf. <laughs> He can hear. I I really like my one of my favorite scenes in that was like the senator guy is like, you 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 three can't come charging in and think that you're gonna win this fight. And then he's like, three, wait a minute, there were four of you, pew pew pew, and like through the wind, not pew pew pew, like it's freaking Star Wars up in here, but like. <laughs> And like two yeah. of the guards drop dead with shots through the window, and dead shots on the radio. Like, get out of here! I got you guys covered. It was really good. Yeah. So yeah, Arrow was awesome. The Walking Dead was really good. The Walking I like how The Walking Dead is slowed down, but yeah, like it's, it's not to the it's level. Intense. Yeah, it's not to the level of Farm season two slowing down. Right. But it's actually it's like it's like slower. They're they're in a safe environment without the show itself slowing down. That's what I mean. There's yeah. actual progress being made. Um, did anything of note happen except for the final speech last week? Um, I feel like there's got to be something else, but I don't know if there was. I don't. Sasha is a little bit a little bit uh, on edge. She's just like killing everything. Because right. she wants to, I don't know. It makes her feel good. She went out and she she was like, "I I'm tired of playing defense. I want to be on the offense." And I was like, "What are you doing?" Also, um, you were. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, I don't know what I was gonna say. Gosh, <laughs> Sasha. Wow. I was gonna say something about Sasha going crazy. She yeah. is just like freaking off a rocker. She she definitely is very nuts right now. She. She's not mentally okay. (laughs) Yeah. But I don't know. It just takes time. She lost, she lost her, her boyfriend and then her brother, like very, very close to each other. Yeah. Like she was still dealing with losing Bob and then Tyrese died. And it's like, okay, 
That that, that yeah. freaking double kill right there, literally. Double but kill. <laughs> literally, um, yeah, literally a double kill. Also, Parks and Rec is done, so that's sad. Sad, um, <laughs> sad day right there. So that's sad. But yeah, so the big thing that happened last week was that they definitely found out the car- that the guy was beating his wife, um, Jesse, and Rick goes to the counselor senator lady and was like what are we gonna do about this and she's like we're not gonna kill him if it comes to it we're gonna exile him because <laughs> that makes sense dude the craziest part about that episode and at the end basically rick goes and talks to jesse and he's like i can just say yes and i can make it stop because this isn't okay and then the uh the guy actually comes out and he's like hey there brick what are you doing in my house, Rick? He's so weird, dude. He's weird and creepy. <laughs> and then uh, they basically like have this huge they have brawl, a and they're like in the middle of the freaking street and fighting and like almost killing each other. And right. then they they basically get each other. I don't fully remember what happens. I guess they just split them up. And Rick's like seriously and he goes off on this whole speech about like your way of doing things is stupid and is done and we're not doing that anymore he was going on in a whole like rictatorship speech which right. is great because i loved the rictatorship speech it was like one of the best things ever <laughs> but he was going off on this whole speech and the whole time i was like yeah i agree they they're stupid this is dumb and yeah. then freaking the episode ended with him literally like he was, by the way, the whole time he was, like, on his knees like this, with, like, blood all over his face talking. And then Michonne just punched him in the face and knocked no, him out. she kicked him, I think. She kicked him? I don't know. She, I don't she hit him. She hit him in the face, knocked I guess, and knocked him out. And the episode ended. And I was like, <laughs> okay, that's great. But tonight is the finale. It's a 90-minute episode crazy which is me and eric were talking about this earlier is that like they didn't i think it's gonna be an hour long yeah this episode isn't (laughs) really building up to anything like the 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 later the latter half of the season was not building up to a huge finale like like the governor type thing like any of that the it it was kind of just sort of peaceful with a little bit of tension and now it's like finale so, yeah. but that's fine because th- we know that the finale itself is going to be like a, it's going to be a big deal. Like no matter right. what it is, it's going to be huge. But we, I kind of, I find it kind of exciting that we don't know what it's going to be. It's probably going to be Rick like getting kicked getting out maybe, kicked out, yeah. or, and maybe he gets the group to like fight them probably. So yeah, I don't know. I'm very excited. <laughs> that happens tonight. And if you're listening this to this later, because you will, because it's not possible to listen to this before the episode, you know what happens, and good for you guys. But <laughs> we'll we'll know soon. Um. So, Nate, let's go over the drop. PlayStation Powerhouse, Ryan Clement, right. and then uh, I'm sure you have something drope. random around. Um. The drop, yes. Anna Extended Edition PS3. I don't know it. Anna is okay. I I I don't know. It looks like some sort of. It's apparently like a puzzler thing. Axiom yeah. Verge for PS4. That's apparently really good. Doodle Kingdom for the Vita. Doodle. Doodle Kingdom. MLB 15 the show for PS4, oh, PS3, okay. and the Vita. That's actually pretty big for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, MX versus ATV Untamed PS2 Classic, Paperbound PS4 Digital. That game looks interesting. Paperbound looks interesting. RBI Baseball 15. Um, PS4. Rack and Ruin PS4. I don't know what Rack and Ruin is. That looks cool. Huh. Um, run Sackboy Run PS Vita. Okay. I wonder if that's like a freaking like Temple Run Sackboy version. That would be okay. so sad. Um, Shadow Tower PS1 Classic. Tabletop Cricket PS3. Uh, Tuikiden. Maybe Kiwami PS4 PS Vita. Uh, looks like a JRPG. 
Looks like something I'd be interested in, actually. Yeah. Um, Ultimate Action Triple Pack, which is for PS3, which is Tomb Raider, Sleeping Dogs, and Just Cause 2 in a pack for PS3. So that's kind of cool. Ultimate Stealth Triple Pack, which is Thief, Hitman Absolution, um, and Deus Ex. Huh. So yeah, weird triple packs going on. I don't know what this is about. And Woe Dave for PS4, which is a Vita game, which, in my opinion, is not that good. So I don't know. <laughs> but some people like it. It's like a mobile game that they put on PS Vita and now PS4. It's, I don't know. It's not bad. It's just not great. <coughs> there are too many other games to be playing Woe Dave right now. Unless it's your thing. Go for <laughs> it. Go for it. Um, yeah, so I am definitely going to be playing some more Elder Scrolls Online. I might jump on Bloodborne after this. But definitely, ESO and Bloodborne are probably what I'm going to be playing throughout the next yep. week. So, Eric, got anything? Uh, got um, anything weird? Ready? Yeah, I got some ketchup. Oh snap! That is definitely always dude. eat Heinz, dude. Heinz is Heinz the best. Is the Heinz way tastes to like go. fish. But, tastes like freaking fish. It's disgusting. Don't eat, ever eat Hunts. Hunts is disgusting. If you, okay. if you even it's your opinion. I thought you, you said Heinz East tastes like fish, and I'm like, no, what? Hunts. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's disgusting. Um, even if it's your opinion, I hate um. your opinion. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Eric hates your opinion. <laughs> Only on ketchup, though. Uh, um, yeah, only on ketchup. Specifically Any, on ketchup. Okay with sure. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah. Drink, drink Heinz. Don't eat it. Drink it. Just grab drink some it. Heinz and drink it. So do that before next week. <laughs> and we'll talk to you <laughs> next week after you drink that ketchup. Yep.